My name is Christopher Wright. I'm a management trainer and your business English coach. Of a report is called the executive summary. It's really, really important because basically most of us don't have time to read detailed documents. So we want or we use summaries to help us to see if it's something that we need or want to read. So this video blog post is divided into two. This is part two. Here are two tips and techniques to help you and the quick business English to do it. Point three, make explicit recommendations. In our report, we need to have very clear, explicit recommendations. What do we want people to do after reading our report? And in the executive summary, people will look for that. What are the key recommendations? Be very explicit, be very clear. Time is money. We need to be very explicit and clear. What do we recommend that people do after reading our report? Don't be afraid, be very clear, be very explicit. Okay, here's some an example. Three examples. I recommend improving the average time spent on our company website. I recommend increasing online marketing spending to 25%. I recommend reducing offline marketing spending by 7% in 2015. These are explicit, clear recommendations. Point four of writing an executive summary in English. Outline the report limitations. All reports that we do, and other people do, all reports have some limitation. You need to be explicit and clear and say what that limitation is. It will earn you or gain you credibility. Nobody believes a present, sorry, a report is perfect. There are always some limitations with the data collected, for example. So here are three examples. Here are some quick business English phrases to help you. Number one, last year's forecasting figures are uh, incomplete in March and April. There are date the limitations for company annual results pre-2002. There, there is limited macroeconomic data pre-2002. These are some of the limitations of your report. Thank you.